Hello! Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis B. Bevels. The P stands for Phenomenon. And we are here today to discuss one of the most important television programs of our time. Sex in the City is coming back. Will it be as good without Samantha? Yeah, Who cares? Look, look, that was my fault. I could have stopped it. I could have stopped it. You um, delayed it, but you can't stop. No, you can't, you stop, can't stop the good stuff. Now, Alexis, you do raise a good point. How can they bring back Sex in the City when we already have had two movies and we're done? Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. We've learned to persevere. And if my options are Sex in the City without the Samantha or no more Sex in the City ever again, I'm going to take what I can get. Because as an American, right. we appreciate the crumbs. And as an American, mm -hmm. there's plenty of sluts around. I'll do it. I'm old. I've taken a lot of weird penises. Mm -hmm. Y'all let me know if these get in the way. Too. <laughs> like, I'll just I'll just pan left and right like, yes, I agree with your point. <laughs> I agree with your point too. Ooh. And your point and when I put this on I thought my tits were huge and then you came through the door and I was like, nope, keep Meets dreaming. Globos. No, we have our titties on today. Yeah. The titties are on. I Look at those. Look at those. I those? brought yeah, I got my I just got my chest plate in. Congratulations. Thank you. That is very <laughs> realistic. It even comes with stubble. <laughs> we saw each other a couple days ago because we did UK. What mm. a beautiful series to come back to. So in the last two days, what mm. has been the highlight, Chan? <gasps> the last two days, well, you know, I'm not coattailing, okay? I'm not clout chasing, I'm not doing any of that. No. I got to watch this episode right next to Denali, <gasps> and that was a treat. Oh, that was sweet. a treat. Did That's she have, sweet. Did was she providing commentary? Live reactions, yes. Live Screaming reaction. and you know, we. she's a social person. She likes to yes. be fed that energy. She's a performer. Mm -hmm. I was just so happy to be there with someone who was working so hard and showed that on TV too. Mm -hmm. And to see her be rewarded for that hard work in person. I love that. Did she have like Denali energy? Yes. Was she kind of giddy? Cause yes. she, it, she knew it was gonna be a good episode for her. She gets very like, and we all do this. Very gay boy about it, like mm -hmm. e i o i yes t t t you yeah. know yeah 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 we just get really giddy like that, that's just inside of us Wait, and I'm that so, comes I, out. I, I'm so sorry. I mm -hmm. was listening, but then I kind of lost myself in the. Could you do that again? E okay. What was it? Uh, well e i o i e e i e yes yes. So I fed that energy and she fed that back and it was just a really nice sounds fun. interaction that we've been robbed of this past yes. year. Oh my god. We've been robbed of. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember going to the shows and like seeing someone do a split and you just scream just because that's your natural response and yeah. like it's been embedded in your... It was nice to do that in person. Uh, not to mention mm -hmm. the fact that for the first time in a long time, Save Shea Kule, we haven't really gotten to witness our Chicago sisters yeah. in together, like watching our friends in the club, yeah. turning and seeing them and mm -hmm. being excited communally. And, you I'm know, as that. stressful as they were, like watch parties in a bar, to have your hometown girls and you're mm -hmm. screaming in a mm -hmm. bar filled with people, that's a part of the Drag Race experience. Yes. The Drag Race experience is not just what VH1 and Kiki Palmer's Body Wash have to offer. It's also the entire experience of the it's game. Like, it's watching through. football in a bar, in a sports yeah. bar. Exactly. You know? Exactly. As we go through the episode, if you think of a Denali fact okay. that she screamed out and said, TTT, okay. -t -t, okay. just do your E E E and e -e 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 -e. interrupt. E -e -e -e. Us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Another a follow up, may I? Yes. If I may. Because she's watching something that happened months ago. Yes. Was it weird for her? Did you get a sense that she was like, oh my God, this is weird seeing it back. I didn't think they were going to air it this mm -hmm. way. Or There are moments where she was like, oh, I don't know if they're going to air that. Oh, they didn't air that. Denali is a really great spirit to be around because I just love the ladies that just put so much work into what they do and so much love into their, their art. And into their craft. Right here. Into their craft. <gasps> right here. Yeah. And I love keeping people like that around because that, that kind of just motivates me to like want to do more for myself too. Do you feel it? Grab the other one. Make a consent. Consent. Mm, do you feel that? Aww. Aww. <laughs> you ladies push me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's so exciting. You push us too. Really? Yeah, we want to be as funny and as popular as you. I do want children to go. Oh my God! <laughs> Darby said that again. <laughs> Meme. LOL. TikTok. You know. She's mean. Okay. Darby, wait. Well, oh. Do we want to ask you what your oh. happy thing is? Oh, sure. I was editing the UK, so I got a little sidetracked. Sorry. I got a little Roscoe'd, 
And I ended up getting a present from one of our messy queens, my one of my best friends, <gasps> Michael. Okay, he used this while we were on FaceTime and I said, I'm sorry, what is that? It looks like a little taser. Let me turn it on. Wait, and you can hear it. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. So it's like a little taser. It lights a candle. It's a candle lighter and it's rechargeable. Look. The future is now. Like, oh. stop, stop. stop. Isn't that weapon. great though? Oh Dude, my God. Everything oh my in here gosh. is flammable, so I can't use it. But anyway, that's the most exciting thing that's happened to me. And if you would like to buy one, I will put the link below. <laughs> okay, sad. Amazon affiliate. Wait, is it on so Amazon? Cute. It is, yeah. Uh -huh. I'll put our Amazon affiliate. So if you buy one, we get like four cents. Like four cents. Right, yeah. right, right. But um, I'm just obsessed. I can't that's stop talking cute. about it. As soon as I got it, I FaceTimed everyone I could think of. Like I, my mom, my grandma. I was like, I just need you to see this. This is... And it's rechargeable, so my candles will never run out of power. I've never seen you so excited about fire. <laughs> this is a concern. <laughs> I do love matches. There is a pyromaniac inside all of us. Though. Yeah. We do like fire. It's yeah. Like oh yeah. Primitive. I've told I've told my story, I think on the podcast maybe, our exclusive Patreon podcast. When I set the, the family piano on fire. Oh yeah. Oh you my did. goodness, yeah. Yeah. An accident. Mm. Tune into Patreon and you can hear yeah. our little pyro. W what Huh? Well. Well. <laughs> what are we here for, ladies? What are we getting into? We're getting into the episode of RuPaul's Drag Race US, season 13, episode three. Mm -hmm. The one that you watched next to Denali. Mm -hmm. It just happened to be the same one that Denali won. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. 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 Love me. There is so much in here. You, thank God, thank you again for sending those notes. Mm -hmm. Without you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have notes. We are, again, heavily biased towards our Chicago girls. Miss Kamora. Yes. And Kamora had a solid episode. She was on time for everything. She knew well, all her moves. Well. we'll talk about it. At the top of the episode, mm -hmm. let's just get into it. The pork chop queens enter the wick. Uh, it's been yes. two weeks. I've it's missed been, They've been locked up in that loading dock. We did get like a weeks. quick peek of the winners talking after they got off the runway, oh, yes. but we've seen enough of them. It's Denali Kamara's time to shine. Yeah, just excited to see them. Yeah. Excited. And did you notice the jacket that Denali was wearing? Yes. It's a Layla McQueen. <gasps> Layla McQueen. I gotta say, she wore two jackets in this episode out of drag and they were both giving me serotonin. Oh, mm. good. Yeah. You need more chemicals. You don't eat vegetables. Thank you. Good drag name, serotonin. But they're like really sad all the time. It's like ironic. Yes. Please welcome to the stage, serotonin. And they're like, oh, I'm just going to do another ballad. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a seat? If you, if you become that drag queen, we're your mom. Yes. Copyright. And if, if you want another one, another child, Auntie depressant. There you go. Antidepressant. My first drag child. Wait, wait, I have I one. one every day. Lazy Susan, and they just spin around. Okay, so the pork chops enter the workroom, yep. and they are talking about trade of the season. Trade of the season, Ooh. trade of the season. What are we trading? What are we trading? Anyone catch your eye? Alexis has had, she texted me something now, alarming. Well, I'm I not going to read the text. To, I don't know that we need to talk no, about it. No, let's get, no, Not even no, for Patreon only, opinion. because the text was... <laughs> army hammer bad. Like, it was tough. Oh. Alright, well, I'll say let's the obvious. Joey J is an attractive man. Okay. Cute in the face. Mm hmm I'm gonna say this. I gotta, I think Rosé is kinda hot. Yeah. I'll okay. take a, I'll take rose a, I'll take a refreshing okay. drink of Rosé. Rosé oh, is oh, oh. hot. That's rose not what you texted. You know what? Here. <laughs> I don't want y'all thinking I'm army hammer candy. Show me the, kidding. show me the smudge. I shouldn't have said army hammer. That took it to a different level. I'm sorry. Army hammer No, this. you just said army you want Rosé to push you up against a wall. Yeah, and make out with me a little yeah. bit. That's respectful. Push their meat into you. Well, I, I don't know that we need to put that. <laughs> the meat? If we're going to tell the truth, we're going to tell the you truth. I said smush section. it against oh. me. I just wanted to feel it. You know when you make out with someone and it's hot? Oh, yeah, and yeah. And you feel the Yeah. <laughs> Did you say the mound? <laughs> Speaking of mounds. I gotta say, you wanted to talk about the meat? It's Arby Hammer. Uh, <laughs> Arby's. We've got the meat. This room doesn't have a door. Don't, 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 don't. Can you put the Arby theme song in there too? Thank you, Curtis. The more you encourage him. I'm sorry. What? what? I think it's funny. Look, men eat Arby's and men have an opinion too. I will always be obsessed with Denali's appearance. 
just to be able to be so perfect both in and out of drag. I yes. Think oh yeah, yeah. Irresponsible. Well, I know Denali outside of this a little bit, so that I don't immediately think that, but I do I acknowledge that. No, he's same. Hot. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But the the personal that I would go after obviously is RuPaul, and I think that goes without saying because she does yoga six times a day, and um, she fracks. And I want I want a man Ooh. I want a man who does both. <laughs> Ooh. I want yoga afternoons and fragging nights. Oh. <laughs> Okay. No, but it is a cute bunch. It is who a do cute you, bunch. Who do you, who, who'd you say? Okay, it's weird because she's my friend, but I think Denali's really cute too. Mm. Uh, Joey J. I'm not sleeping on Utica I, either. I like, Utica's I think cute too. Utica's adorable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Utica's really so cute too. So cute. There's not a bad looking... There, I no. was a cute cast. I would like a, any of them to make out. It's a cute cast, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cute cast. Maybe we're all just really... Horny? Hornisha. Oh, I, it's for been some so reason, long. I'm such a, I'm in such a dark place. I thought you were about to say, maybe we're just all really ugly, and that's why we're not on TV. That's where my brain went. Maybe we're all ugly. Queen. Maybe we're all just really ugly. <laughs> my therapist you told know? me when I start to think those thoughts, I'm supposed to put up a stop sign in my mind. So hang on, let me try that again. Mm hmm I thought you were gonna. Thought I was gonna what? She put up a stop sign. I'm gonna stop sign. Mm -hmm. Everything's okay. Beautiful. Bimbo crossing. Oh! They meet Rue for the first time, and Rue apologizes for the trauma. Did you take the apology? Do, did you accept it? It's not yours to accept, but... <laughs> <laughs> did Denali? Did Denali accept it? Probably not, but I don't, I don't know. I don't... To be fair, they were so in their tight bubble, I don't know that they knew that we would have the reaction we did to the prison, Stanford prison experiment. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe yeah. at the time, because it's a production thing, it all just seems kind of fun and silly. Mm -hmm. But then when we all watched it on TV after we'd been stuck inside for a year, it was um, dark. It was dark. A twisted, yeah, psychological yeah. like dark. Yeah, yeah. if I was still there and able to do second chance, all would be forgiven. I'd be like, yes, I don't care, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Okay. Um. So they're announced. Did you almost drink chance? Yeah. Drink? <laughs> I went. Right. I, I let it happen too. I, I, didn't, I put up my stop sign. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the mini challenge is announced. Lady yes. and the Vamp. Lady and the Vamp. Love that category. What a cute idea. I like that. Wait a minute now. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I'm Vamp. I'm Lady. You're Lady. I'm Lady. She's Vamp. You're Tramp. I'm Tramp. Oh. <gasps> But like, wear it proud. I do. Yeah. Do. There's no stop sign here. <laughs> no. Go, go. Go, go, go. Uh, green lights. Yeah, it's the mini challenge. Well, it starts off with Miss Kimura <laughs> being late. And they even have a talk about it because Denali said, it is It is kind of a joke among Chicago. Yes, it is. Kimura will say, yeah, I took six hours to get into this space. Mm -hmm. And um, and it looks like nothing. You're like, what? Well, and she looks beautiful, yeah. Yeah. So she's late. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine how terrifying that would be. Mm. What oh is the God. latest you've ever been to something? I feel that. I do get lost in the fantasy sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and there's also, with drag, there's so many moving parts. It's like, if you forget something or if you fuck something up, and it can set off a ripple. And aren't supposed to move still move. Mm -mm. Yes. Yeah, like, stay right there. Okay, what is the latest you've ever been to something? Probably been like an hour late to like a gig before. Oops. <gasps> Oops. It's like call time. They just pushed me to the end. I had like a, I was doing Market Days, which is like an afternoon festival. I had a gig the night before and I overslept. And I woke up with like 45 minutes to get ready mm. and get to the bar. So obviously I texted the bar and I said, that's not me. That's not, that's not who I am. But people, but by the time I got there a couple hours later, everyone was so drunk. It was way more fun mm -hmm. for them. <laughs> I have a friend who I met in Houston when I was young and now they live in Chicago and they were getting married in Michigan. They wanted me to sing at their wedding. Aww. Have they not heard you sing in a while? I was running late, so I was like, I'm so, so sorry. I promise I'll be there soon. And it was a Mormon wedding, so it was like in the temple Ooh. where we couldn't go. And then Aww. the reception outside. Did you know Michigan is in a different time zone than where we are? No. Yes. I didn't know either. So not only They're was right I above. already late, I was a full hour behind what I already thought. There was a huge storm. The power went out in the temple and it was too windy and rainy for outside. So we were just in a dark room with one door open <laughs> off to the side. Were you in drag? No. And they waited for me. And I was like, you Ooh. waited for me to sing Come What May from Moulin Rouge. <gasps> That's what you sang? Yeah. Oh. 
I felt uh, away for that. Well, fuck Mormons. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck them. I mean, that I, part went out because it was trying to stop you. Well, that's a crazy. Here's the. It's okay. I mean, I do feel bad. I feel really bad that they waited. But it was one of those weddings where like everything was going wrong anyway. So it's kind of a good sign. Like the wedding is shitty, so the marriage will be fabulous. Uh -huh. And also, they had already been married. They got married in Mexico. But I was super late. Yeah, I feel bad. I don't think God was on your finish. side. That's okay. I think it is a lot for them to say, we want you to bring your best looks. You're going to be on national television. Right. By the way, you got an hour. Like, that's... Give them a little extra time. I wonder if, like, Kamor did anything to adjust to that. Like, did she do some did training some, sessions? Did she do like, some trial runs? I mean, you've we've all heard stories. You did Camp on a Kiki, and you did your face. Like, you got yours. Yeah, down. what's the fastest you've ever done your face? When I was on Camp on a Kiki, although they asked that all of our day looks be the same, mm -hmm. makeup-wise. Mm -hmm. So by the end, it was just, like, 30 minutes. Like, boom. But mm -hmm. I also had shaved my brows. Ooh, I want to do that. So... Honestly, being late and trying to do my face really quick, you learn stuff because you're not second guessing every little detail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my question is, did Kamora do any trial? Now I love Kamora and I'm team Kamora. Yes. You know these horror stories. Sometimes the girls are like, yeah, we only had 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Did she, she do a trial three run? three people in, in her family on Drag Race. Mm -hmm. so I yeah. Just, yeah. I'm just happy that she was able to laugh about it. You have to laugh. Oh, you have to laugh. laugh. Have to That's laugh. rule number one in She drag. tweeted really out, you know, like, sorry to stress y'all out, like in her sweet little Kimura way. And of course, she delivered gorgeous looks. Yes. So. Here's, here's the thing with like the queens that take their time. They really just get into the full fantasy. And whenever they perform, if you ever get a chance to see Kamor perform live, please Do it. take that opportunity. Yes. You just see her really living that fantasy. And there's just something that you can't replicate from a queen like that. No. She has. Really into there's, it. There's a quality. Yeah. And I get it. Like, I, I take forever with my makeup. Like, there can truly be times where, because I'm very straight lines mm -hmm. and like, Symmetry and mm -hmm. I gotta make sure it's all You're also that takes a while. You're also I believe I mean, I don't, I don't know, but you're also like Perfect. Let me take a break to get a coffee and have a quick nap Yeah, I do nap in the middle of doing mm -hmm. my makeup. I'll yeah. do the eyeliner and I'll say well It's gonna take at least 30 seconds to dry. Let me just close my eyes, right? Can I get a little psycho doctor for a second? Like as if I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, please. Can I get a little Twitter Wait. moment real yes, quick? Yes, please. Because I did watch Veneno and it got me thinking and I did do some reading. Oh god, I need to see that. You gotta see Veneno. I know I have to. I'm gonna do it tonight. Getting into the fantasy just kind of like is therapeutic to the trans femme mindset. Because oh, you yeah. really get to live this ideal version of yourself on stage and you get affirmation from people for doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh. And the more you good. feed into it, the more you are firm that this is a person that is you, is a part of you, is an extension of you, and you really can't rush that. You really can't rush, like, you becoming this person that you're supposed to be. Yeah. Also, that's part of the artistry. That is part of the artistry. That's part of our artistry. Yeah. We, we don't call it painting our faces for nothing. You're literally doing a piece of art on mm -hmm. your face. I mean, I don't know that we can call our early work art. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had our we had our Picasso blue periods or whatever. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Our, we definitely. Our we're very Why are you dragging Picasso? He's already in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's already a tree at this point. Audible. He's well, a tree. He was, if he was buried three feet below the surface. He's a tree. Yes. Six feet. We know stone. this. Stone. But do you know what I mean? That's why I got to tell y'all. Watch Veneno. It's going to yes. speak to okay. the little lady inside. I you. vow. Well, I hereby vow. Mm -hmm. Can I? Yes. Can I vow on your... Oh, uh, absolutely. I vow to watch Veneno tonight. Oh, please, the first please, episode. Please do. Is it episodes or is it a movie? It's, it's episodes, like eight okay. episodes total, like hour long. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Okay. I'll watch two. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's just start with the looks. First look is Denali. Blue floral lace for her day. <sighs> What do we think of the blue floral? Beautiful. It was a J for pay designs. Mm -hmm. Was it, was, it? Yes, it was. Uh. Local, incredible performer and designer J for pay mm -hmm. with a Camilla Fox hair. Mm -hmm. That hair was awesome. Stunning. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I loved that it came down on the leg. I love that it came down on the leg. I wish, was there not someone that could have told her, hey, your, your tight's a little twisted at your knee. She had kind of that I like, gathering. That. Yeah. I was like, come on, guys. It was probably Utica because she's like, you didn't tell me about my hair. Nice knees. Get out revenge. there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Utica's revenge. Denali on knees. Okay, moment with Denali. So when Denali was like picking out the lipsticks, she didn't want to like pick Utica because she saw Chicago Queen in Utica. And she was like, my kind, I must protect. Oh! Isn't that lovely? See, she really is 
the, the, the people's queen. The people's queen. Yeah. Anyways. That's sweet. I love Utica. Mm -hmm. I was very charmed by Utica this episode. Yeah. Same. And then her vamp look was <gasps> oh. sheer you, that black was, witchies. That was a lady hide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, was a lady really? hide. Yes. I looked on her Instagram to double check. It was, did she say Moschino? It was Moschino inspired. Oh, was it? Okay. With the cage skirt and the sheer. Stunning. Stunning. Yes. Stunning. And I love how Ross said, like, it, it, I, if you didn't have those dimples, I wouldn't know that that was you. I no. love that Completely they different. were showing she will jump into any look and she'll mm -hmm. pull yeah. it off. The corset she was wearing under the sheer, did you notice? Yeah. It, was, it, had, it wasn't just like a corset. Rest. It was like beautifully tailored to her body cupped over, I just really loved that corset. Mm -hmm. That was a cute reveal. And it, and it was, you could tell it was a little more than just a, I mean, what I, you know. Mm. Uh, Lady Amazon. Hyde is, she's the best. And we're biased, but excellent. We're not, we're not biased for Lady Hyde. No. We just really I love am. her work. You know her? No, but I like want to. Oh, yeah, of course. We Lady all Hyde. Hyde. Lady Hyde. Up next, Joey J. The tan bodysuit, the brown jacket, the pink. Oh, the fur. Not the pink hair, but the, uh, uh, the fur, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I liked it. I know that she's like a, I don't wear wigs, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. But she did wear a wig for her entrance look, which I think is bizarre. Like, your entrance look is like, this is me. This is who I really am. But mm -hmm. then she chose this episode to say, this is me. This is who I really am. Mm -hmm. And Ross was right. Like, seeing that four times in a row in, like, one episode, I'm putting a lot on her. I don't, I don't know why I'm throwing this on her. But I, I wish she had thought through, like, maybe I should, like, for the lady, maybe I should have hair so that when I switch to the tramp, it is more like, It know? was. Yeah. I will say this. It was really impressive that her hair was red in the lady right. and completely blue in the tramp. Right. Mm -hmm. Or maybe vice versa. Yeah, I agree. You, you puckered your mouth like you were about to say, but... I think it's the most delicate way those judges have ever handled the we love that you do you, but we don't like you doing you. It was a little softer. We want to see variety, yeah. Yeah. There's also, <clears> like, <throat> she couldn't have known that those were the order of the But once she's in list. it, I mean, at least do the lip sync with, I don't know, like mm. a, a bowl cut. Her night look was kind of like a black version of her day look, mm -hmm. and it was, to me, it was a bodysuit with accessories on it. We've all seen the Akira Dragon Scale bodysuit. Yes. I think if she wasn't... But so striking. Yeah, I mean, it, awesome. So striking. So cool. Mm -hmm. I think what Ross says later about Rosé, that to me is more something I would see in a club regularly and be, like, be okay with. But for a runway, and also you just gave us a bodysuit mm -hmm. vibe. Yeah. I don't know if this is fashion show. For sure. Agree. Yeah, I agree. And her paint. Her paint and her body. She, her paint is good. She's her blessed. Paint is her paint is gorgeous. Good. She's blessed. Let's get into Rosé's day look. Rosé's day look was the painted dress, the shoulders. She had the little purse with the R. Also Moschino inspired paper <gasps> doll. There's a lot mm -hmm. of like direct from runways fashion references this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say trend alert, low buns. She had one low buns. and Miss Gamora had one. Mm -hmm. I loved the dumb little look at my butt. It says Rosé and then she turned the purse around. And the reveal. Said, yeah, say. I love that because I love the idea of a woman going to a store. Like you walk in Alexis and you see that says Lexus. That's almost my name. <gasps> and then the shopkeeper comes up to you and says, "Thank you for coming to my store. Do you like my dress?" And you say, "Yeah, it's almost my name. My name's Alexis." And then he goes, "Oh, well, I happen to have this purse." And he pulls it out and it's a gun. <laughs> You know what would be even cooler though? What? If you went into an Arby's. I don't hate Arby's. I just hate the, I, I have to deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. That's real. Spontaneity. Not on my watch. <laughs> he heard a conversation about beef curtains and had a, he got so excited. Come on in. <laughs> he got so excited. Oh wait, but her second look. Her second look. Oh, the, with the black. The cage. Um, with the, the lazy the cage Susan. And the, Yes. That's what RuPaul called it, a lazy season. Oh, lazy that is season. true. Yes. She spun around it. Can I say that was my favorite thing, I think, you can. from the fashion show? You can. Yeah. It was really, her looks were really solid. Yeah. Yeah. That was a fashion show. That look. was a fashion moment. And fun and cool. Have you ever worn anything super fashion forward, like crazy fashion forward? Mm. I was once the inflatable tube guy, and it doesn't yeah. get any more forward no. than like yeah. that. You forward, you, you know. went back. You went yeah. <laughs> That's true. Front in the middle and around again. <laughs> what about you? 
fashion forward, push the envelope. I did wear a tent as a dress. Ooh. You did. You not only wore a tent as a dress, you sank inside of it <laughs> and came out of it in a different dress. Yeah. How about you, Darbs? Yeah, what's the most oh. fashion forward? Okay, thank you for asking. I used to shop at charlotteroost.com before they closed. Okay. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Is that like a <gasps> sex store? It's like Forever 21, but worse. Okay. <laughs> it was so bad, it had to be fashion forward. Charlotte Roos. You really missed an opportunity when you changed your name, because you could be charlotteroost.com. Dot com. I think they came back. They shut all the stores. I think they brought the, the website back, but they just don't have the same flair. Like mm. they don't have a toddler who just ate four cupcakes drawing their dresses anymore. Mm. And you can tell. Up next, legendary Tamisha Iman. <gasps> Her first look was this magenta pantsuit with- Gorge. This Sheer rich looking- robe. She, yes. That robe, what, that color. The, I know they kept talking about the color, but I, I agree. It was mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Elegance. Elegance. My tits too. High. I love how she carries herself. No. No. Okay. I feel like they could fly. I need. That's clothes. how you know they're good. Oh. Okay. The low hanging fruit. I loved it. I loved it too. She she brings a legacy mm. yes. to this competition yes. that I don't think we've seen from a lot of the older contestants that have been brought on the show. Mm -hmm. She's giving you pageant drag, but in a very tangible, mm -hmm. not tangible, in a, in a accessible, maybe? accessible way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think she's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. She's amazing. She brings in like, okay, so you used to take like hip hop dance classes. Okay. I, I, I have a past. Okay. The hip hop name was Lotus. Okay. We're not choose the name. My name was Lotus. And one of the rules of hip hop, like one of the first rules is like knowing your history mm. because okay. you can't dance without being informed of the history. Mm -hmm. You can't, I don't appreciate can't just, that. Mindlessly. That's why I'm not a good dancer. I, I never did well in You history. have to study your history. It's okay. I'll just... Charlie hides it. There's like a history of pageant drag that isn't celebrated as much because of mainstream drag and it can get lost in like newer generations and I think it's so great that they cast Tamisha Iman and that everyone is being so respectful to her because there is something that we need to read into and that is yeah. our roots. Absolutely. She's just... Perfect. She's just she so... Well hitting every note mm -hmm. so yeah. far. Because mm -hmm. her next look, oh, the hair. this was she hair. Wore the hair gown this with the was, bun. She was like, yeah, I, I'm wearing 48 inches or whatever. <laughs> yeah. so much hair. We've had this discussion with a rainbow dress. Oh, right. Have you ever seen a hair look that has tickled your fancy? This uh, for me personally, first. no, until this. Yes, thank you. This was the first. Oh, um, no. Gritty. Mm. I think Gritty looks great. Who's Gritty? What? And the diamond waistcoat. Yes. The the fashion Elvira mullet. It can be done so wrong, but it takes a pageant superstar to do it right. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Up next, Utica. Utica's first look was the gumball 60s. <gasps> So with the, all with over. the cutout panels in the side, you mm -hmm. can see her tiny waist. Fuck her for that. But mm -hmm. also, I was so charmed Such by this. Such a cute look. Charming, Such a charming. cute look. The cute glasses. Adorable charmed. cartoon. Hitting. And I love that era. she said it was classic Utica. Like she's like, this is the most lady Utica you'll get. Mm -hmm. And I was like, do it. Very kooky. Do it. Loved it. And then her vamp look. Oh, was even better. The coat that, or not the coat, the cape. The disc, the, the disc, yeah. yes, yeah. with like eaten fruit or what was that? It was so cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Did you notice That's her okay. her legs were? It was like a cage, but for each individual leg. Yeah. Like Denali had a cage hoop skirt. Yeah. Hers were each individual leg. Oh, that's cool. Oh. I didn't quite like the skirt in front of it. That'd be difficult mm -hmm. to walk in. Maybe if it was like out on I the don't side, but caged. It was really cool. So cool. Fantasy. Yeah. It's like a. And she probably made that no. She certainly most designed likely, it. Most likely. I, she got I it from charlotteroos.com. Mm. This drag queen I know. She's oh. super into cages. Charlotte Roos. And then finally, Miss Kimora. Good things come to those who wait. Yes. Mm -hmm. She looked elegant and rich in her so rich. white vintage. <gasps> fascinator. Teacup lady. Yes. I love what was the Who was the designer? First one was a Domingo Cholula, Kristen Dior. Very Dior. Yeah, Dior. I love the fascinator. She mm -hmm. looked so prim and proper. Trend mm -hmm. alert, low buns. She looked like those McCall illustrations on the pattern package. <gasps> That's what she looked like. That's she so did. true. You know what I mean? McCall Mora Hall. Mm -hmm. Kamora McCall. Her vamp look 
was a <gasps> Mugler vintage original. Mugler original. With Swarovski diamonds at my head. It looked. It looked good. 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 Yeah. I love when when she was on the runway and Nicole Byer was like, I want to rob you. Mm -hmm. like, you look rich. I want to take everything you have. Yeah. She didn't even see the Mugler and like, she always just looks so goddamn expensive. Yes. She's oh, so she expensive. I'm so excited to talk about Nicole Byer later because mm -hmm. I love her. Oh, I know. Me too. Let's get into the next day where they have to prepare choreography. Mm. <gasps> to the new song Phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Or not new, but the song from the Las Vegas Phenomena. Review Show. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Phenomenon. Derek Berry's in Las Vegas show. Boom. We have three choreographers step forward. Yes. And they come forward and they have to make they have to make it work. Yes. Meanwhile, yes. Tamisha Aman, thirty years experience choreographer. She said she was like, I'm gonna step back. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. She said she's done over 200 pageants in her career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done 200 of anything? I mean. We've all been alone. Okay. Ah. <laughs> it went all the way over there. <laughs> yeah. Boop. Oh, I'm not a shooter. I'm a thrower. <laughs> so she steps back, which I appreciate it, because she was like, this is going to be a mess. Mm -hmm. And it was. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you could spill the Denali tea. Oh. Uh, did she have any tea on the drama of it all? Because she was one of the choreographers. Yeah, she really didn't say much. It was more, she was like, I'm gonna just self-evaluate and internalize it, which I, that's what we all do. Yeah. You watch yourself back on TV and you go, oh, was I really like that? But... She didn't watch it with, like, the stress. That no, no, no. Okay. It was but. it was really fun to watch her watch herself and like see how she like took control of the situation. I'm sure that day was stressful and like a lot of it is a blur to her. But from what I understand, she's very happy that it went down the way it went down. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, it worked out for her. I gotta say, I I would have done the same thing if I were her. I would have said, "Well, is anybody gonna step up?" Well, fine. I know I can do this. So let me be the leader. Let me take charge. Mm -hmm. Same. But I would like. I would be mean. No, you wouldn't. I think I would. Once it starts getting frustrating like that, I don't handle that. And mm -hmm. I, I don't relent control. Like, Do I you don't. look, you don't let go? No. I'd be like, this is insane. Mm -hmm. Like I'd start, I'd probably start calling names. Ooh. Not like mean, mm -hmm. but no, that's stupid. Like yeah. what, you're, you're stupid. Yeah. Don't. Put me on TV. I don't mean. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna get, well, how would you handle the situation? I guess I would a little bit. Y'all, this would be this would be so much easier if one person was in charge. So mm -hmm. if you will allow me to step up, let me do it. Otherwise, yes. that's the too opposite of what yes. I just said. You were like, it'll be something like that. No, it couldn't be nicer. Can we just? Uh, can I please, if you wouldn't mind? And I'm like, You're stupid. Well, that okay. mother's a whore. Well, luckily for them, their mothers are whores. Thank you. Tamisha steps in and finally is just like, she does. no, 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 stop yes. it. Let's do this. That was exciting to well, watch. Well, can I be the in between between both of y'all? Yeah, what would you do? What I'd be would you that do? Way. I think I would be the mediator. It's one of my Myers Briggs. It depends on which day I take it. I'm either yeah. the debater or the mediator, but the power the of, I hate to bring it back up, yes and. Yes, mm -hmm. and yes. do you remember there was a moment where Tamisha kind of brought them all together and was like, we gotta do it like this, do it like this, and then Utica said, and then I'll do this, and everyone was like, yeah, I like that. We are all getting along and we're adding on to each other's ideas where we feel free and open to be saying, creative. What if, what if we do this instead? Yes. Instead of just being like, oh, I like that. Oh, yes. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I agree. Because the conflict, and it wasn't even like about anything, was one, two, three, four. Well, what if we do one, two, three, four? And then, no, what if we do one, two, three, four? And like, we're yeah, not even talking about the choreography. We're talking about who takes flare. control of this. Those are numbers. They're all numbers. Yeah. Goes right to the top. And Kamara's like, who do I follow? <laughs> <laughs> That was that was funny. Little sweet Kamora. So before the runway, they're all getting ready. They say, "Who's? How old are we?" Utica, not to be disrespectful. Utica raised her hand, and she had her armpit was hollow. Don't put that in. Hollow. It was so. She's so thin. So deep. She's so thin. Mm -hmm. Deep and hollow. Deep and hollow. There's an deep. arm that's mm -hmm. going deep and hollow. Deep and hollow. Deep and hollow. Deep and hollow. When you plow me in. Deep and hollow. <laughs> <laughs> It was going somewhere. It was going somewhere. Yes, and yes, and. She says, How old is everyone? And that's when we learn Tamisha Iman has actual children. Know. Yes. The legendary. No, no, no. Well, legendary drag children, yes. but also children. Oh, oh. Biological. She has kids. I missed that. 
Yeah, what? when they were all saying, yeah, she's she said, biological bio kids. she said, I have children older than you, like actual children. I have biological children older than you. What the fuck? Yeah. Is that the titty man? You want to finish this game? Oh. Mommy? Oh you know my god. You you have just become my daughter, Dolly Parton. <laughs> Look at your giant chin. Mommy, what happened? Oh my god! Call back. Mommy, today was the day. <laughs> <laughs> my chest feels funny. But she also has amazing drag children, mm -hmm. one of whom the world knows, Tandy yeah. Iman Dupree. Yeah. Jeez. She's no longer with Louise. us, but she she's a she's an offspring of Tamisha Iman. Mm. She I mean, we'll play the clip mm. here, but like legendary. Legendary. Yes. She yes. falls from the ceiling into a split. And then we get to hear from Kamora about the relationship that she's in and how she keeps her drag kind of separate from the relationship. Now, I understand, because like Darby, I mean, we're in this gorgeous, spacious studio now, but in your home, you have a second bedroom where you try to keep things contained in there, but just for your own personal, like, mm. peace of mind to get away from it. Having a separate, she said- Storage unit. She said storage unit and trying to keep things behind lock and key. I want to be respectful, because I know Kimura. Mm -hmm. When I first started, Kim Chi booked me for one of her like Neverland performance parties things. And it was like Trixie and Shay. And I was like, these are all the girls that work regularly. Like, I want to get into this. And Kimura reached out and was like, I've got something that would fit you perfectly. That oh. would go great. Yeah, I got it from her. I never gave it back to her. I'm sorry. You probably don't miss it. When I went over there, we ended up talking outside her house for a good 20 to 30 minutes because we both were working full-time jobs outside of drag. And we both felt like, ugh. I want to go out and like be out and how do we stay a part of the scene when we're not able to be out a lot. It was really nice just to kind of commiserate over that. Then we started talking about our boyfriends mm -hmm. and how at the time Curtis and I were living in a one bedroom and Darby was starting to grow so she was starting to take over. Mm. And then Kamora shared that with her boyfriend he really didn't want that to be a part of their life, their like Which couple she says life. In the show. Yeah. yeah. Even though this was like six, seven years ago, like eight years ago. Ten. Ten years ago. Back then it didn't seem so crazy to me, I have to be honest. Like mm -hmm. it didn't seem so crazy that he was like, I don't want like her to be in our life. Because I felt like it was sort of similar to what Curtis and I were, were going mm -hmm. through. But that's not the case. Curtis yeah. is very supportive. He also has no choice. But it was a few years later. <laughs> yeah. It was a few years later and oh, I remember being at a show with Kamara and I was just like, Hey, like how are things? Like are you are you're doing more drag? Oh, that's nice. And she said that it had gotten better. Mm -hmm. So Maybe it's like an underlying issue that hasn't completely gone away, but mm. I think it has gotten better. I'm sure a lot of relationships with drag queens and their boyfriends, there's always a conversation of like, so we're kind of in a throuple. Oh yeah. yeah. There's another person that lives here. And the other person who lives here is a monster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. And they physically take up space. A you lot know? of well, space. Well, my, yeah. my boyfriend, he actually, he is a three bedroom, so it was no problem. For <laughs> yeah. Things into his into his third bedroom that's where we kind of keep yeah but he also has some other things in there he's got some you know is it an illusion or a delusion huh um are tits lopsided i think mine are tit check take to the runway runway yes. run, 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 run 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 runway rupaul rupaul, RuPaul. In that orange gown she asymmetrical looked, she looked good <laughs> she looks good she looked, she good. looked good i don't it, she looked good. That monk orange iridescent on her skin. The cut of it. Oh, that the was cut good. of it. That was good. A lot of it. That was good. Our judges, our esteemed judges. Esteemed judges, Michelle Vachar. Michelle. Michelle Vachar. Michelle Vachar. Rush Michelle. The hilarious Ross Matthews yeah. and I Nicole love. Byer. Nicole Byer. Love. Okay, this is her second her. time, or she's a return judge. Please do that some more, is yeah, what I'm going to say. Also, I want to just plug her podcast, Why mm -hmm. Won't You Date Me. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious, and she has featured a lot of gorgeous Chicago drag monsters. Lucy Stuhl, The Vixen. Mm -hmm. You get to hear your friends on this podcast with this very it. famous, hilarious, Fuck and yes. beautiful person. Yeah, I'm Heck obsessed yes. with Nicole Byer. Love, love her. Love Nicole Byer. I just want to, I want to get famous so that I can move to LA and we can go to like brunch and be like, aren't we fun? <laughs> and then Curtis will divorce me. <laughs> Don't you love this? <laughs> Don't you love us? So let's talk about the performance. Let's go to the beautiful stage with our beautiful ladies, mm -hmm. Phenomena. 
Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Can I say before we get started, just to get because fashion, Kimora Hall was wearing a Joshua Aponte <gasps> creation. Mm -hmm. Now, Joshua Aponte not only is an incredible drag queen, by the way, she's a woman, incredible, mm -hmm. but also an incredible designer who did a lot of Shay's stuff, Jada's stuff. Shay's Grinch from Jay's Grinch. Yep, mm -hmm. that's Joshua Aponte. So make sure you go and follow them on Instagram. They're because, incredible. Like, oh, they're so, and they're so nice. Yes. Yeah. And they're like nocturnal, like they can work through the night. Like yeah. they are a machine. And they're Chicago. And, and they're Chicago. I mean, that's Chicago. Chicago right? excellence. Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joshua. Joshua. Oh, I said that wrong. Okay. Joshua Naponte. Joshua. Joshua. Okay. Actually, I take it back. So everything I said just had a one <laughs> to it. Joshua. 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 Yes. Whenever I see them, I don't call them by their name. I just say, you look great. And then I just... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and I just <laughs> I'm so apologize I'm so sorry. Sorry. They designed for Miss Universe, too. They've designed oh, yeah. like this really... Uh, stunning. Stunning. Gorgeous. Stunning. Genius. You should be a Miss Universe. Right? What country should I represent? Do, I, do you get a pick? <laughs> no! I think you're just America, Miss America. I want to give y'all Bangladesh teas. <laughs> I am not from Bangladesh, nor have I ever been there, but I would like to be Miss Bangladesh this year. <laughs> so you think that's how it works? That's, you, just that's, wear a, you just roll a dime. Uh, that's truly the American way. I the, don't yes. have any experience. I've never <laughs> been there before, but I'm your leader now. Yo, yeah. Okay, we well, took it to a very political place. Mm. We were trying to stay lighthearted. You, you want to talk like about establishing democracy? But you, this is this is. Do you want to talk about world hegemony? Yeah. What? Obviously, the Rose Denali major standout. Yes. But who else did we enjoy? I really liked Tamisha's performance. I thought Tamisha too. was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought Tamisha was amazing. She did what she came here to do, which was show. You can do this at any age, yeah. and you can still be amazing. Can I talk about the judgment they gave her later? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they were like, you seem reserved, you seem held back. She took a year to get over cancer. One year to beat cancer, and now she's here, and you're saying you're not working hard enough? I think what she did was fantastic, and I didn't feel it was reserved. What she did was amazing in its own right. I thought she killed it. I thought she killed yeah. it. She you better stand up for her, because Leave that it was woman so alone. disrespectful. Not only did she just get over cancer, she... Is 50. Yeah. Uh, but she, yeah, standout. Total standout. Mm -hmm. Total standout. Yeah. Yeah. Kimora. The verse. The verse. The verse. I the think verse. it's the new iconic verse. I think it's the new I'm she Rossi Andrews camp. and I'm here to make it clear. Yes. 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 I think yes. it's the I new. think it was so bad it was good, but I loved it. <laughs> yes. I loved it. Yes. Utica is very charming. Yes. Fell a little bit more in love with her during this. Oh yeah, during her spin. she is, and she did that weird. Oh yeah, arms. So Joey cute. J. Joey J is an interesting person because Joey J said, "I only have this much verse to tell you about myself, but I'm gonna give one line to Utica so she can be like, where's your wig?'" Mm -hmm. That was cute. Mm -hmm. That was cute. It made me like Joey J more. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the looks. Let's yeah, get into the yeah. Runway. Let's get into the long. Okay. The category is. What is it? Sheer. Sheer, sheer. sheer madness or something? We're madness. here, we're, we're, oh, we're sheer. Here, we're, sheer. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. we're here, we're sheer. Put your dick in my mouth. Queer? First up, Denali. She has this purple <gasps> petaled sheer little She's that kind of Iris Van Arpen influenced. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower. Yeah. And then the contrast with the black hair and the black shoe, I liked it. Did you see her photo shoot, The America's Next Time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Loved. She is finding a fashionable, fun way to include her ice skating brand. Yes. Because that yeah. was definitely ice skating vibes, but it wasn't her in literal ice skating. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like, yeah. Yeah. She's gorgeous. I love Very. it. Very. Up next, Joey J with the black shingling-a-ling. It was like a bib with like oh, fringe. Yeah. The beaded fringe. Oh, yeah. Dingly yeah. dinglies. I liked it. You liked it? Okay. Did you not? I didn't like it, and that's not okay. for me to say. We don't. I don't like everything, but that's okay. No, you don't have to like everything. Okay, good. What? What? I did not what like was it, it that? Struck I just you? thought it was too more of the simple. Same. Yeah, it was more of the same. It was a bodysuit with a thing, a very beautiful thing over it, but it was still more of the same. Okay. Yeah, and the judges did say like it was the same exact look all day. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that makes sense. Up next, we had Kamora in the stunning <gasps> tan. It'd be a little. Little waist, yeah, so and that mm -hmm. hair that Sheer was sitting a foot above her that, head, <laughs> that big hair. Oh my god, Texas style, and she's so tiny. That I bet gave that me wig was, was heavy. yeah, she looked and those stunning. Earrings. And she said it was Bob Mackie designed for who? Someone, 
The gown, gorge, signature Kimura. Yes. Beautiful, stunning, skinny, get away from me. Mm hmm Expensive. Yeah, expensive. Up next, we had rosé with the blue ruffled, <gasps> yeah. and then the sleeves, the ruffled sleeves. The giant ruffled sleeves. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't think it needed the sleeves, in my opinion. As a whole, it looked like two different outfits that she was like, I don't think that this plastic is enough. Give me those giant sleeves. Yes. Like, it just... And when she took the sleeves off in the lip sync, I liked the look better. It looked better. better. Yeah, I liked it with the sleeves. Can I say this? Yeah. I liked the sleeves. I didn't like the look because this thing that that is is a shoulder. kind of a That's trend. A sh shoulder. <laughs> the with the ruffles that go up and out. What it, Denali it wore makes during you, the performance. Yeah, I'll say it yeah. makes you look wider. So with the sleeves, it looked like I don't know what I'm looking at. If it had been like a skin tight suit, something else. Actually, what Rose wore in the performance, I loved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think it. I think you're right. I think it's either or. Either that or the sleeves. Maybe not both. Up next, we had. Tamisha Iman in the champagne colored <gasps> pageant gown. Perfect. Beautiful ruffled piece on That's the how you that do it. Beautiful. And the fact that she made it herself. Oh, she, it makes me want to make things. She looks so proud wearing that. And I'm like, I want to. But it, it didn't really look homemade. It no, still no. looked. Who was it that said she could have a dress on the red carpet? I believe. Yeah. And the hair was lovely with it too. I liked yeah. the hair. Gor she was gorgeous. That's pageant, beautiful, real world, mm -hmm. award ceremony, Golden Globe, love it. Mm -hmm. That's why I wore this tonight. Yes. I, I it wanted is to giving. pay homage because Tamisha Mon is quickly becoming a problem. <laughs> I, I, I talk about her a lot. Mm -hmm. Like a lot. Top yeah. tier. Yeah, I talk about excellence. her a lot. Drag excellence. Now you said this earlier tonight, Darby's like kind of entering a new era. A yeah, more grown... maybe Tamisha's kind of inspiring that as well because mm -hmm. I am in the Chicago scene. I'm one of the older ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loving these. Alexis has been experimenting with like updos and I have to say, I love it. Yeah. I like Very feeling older and like, come here, let me tell you a story about the Great Depression and how many <laughs> dicks I sucked for a sandwich. You are that story girl though. Yeah. You are that, oh, I have something to relate to. The, oh, you're going to like this It's usually story. about cum or a dead body mm -hmm. or both if you're Army Hammer. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Okay. <laughs> you just got hammered. <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> and finally, we have Utica in this like spiritual, kind of foresty, druidy Florence in the <laughs> like machine. I liked it a lot. I hated how much they just liked, liked it. I liked it too. I liked it. I thought it moved beautifully. Yeah, yeah I loved I it. I loved it. It was so cool. Mm -hmm. I want to watch her spin around yes. yeah. for a minute. I bet she has so much fun spinning. That yeah. is something you were as you perform to like Florence in the Machines, like Dog Days or whatever. <gasps> oh, you know what I mean? Yes. They are. They are and they're, over. They're over. It's it, we're a new journey. It's a cat's world now. Yeah. And then our top two winners of the week: Denali and Rose. And Ooh. Everyone's safe, and Denali it is was, top. And Denali top, and they're like time to lip sync. And okay, let me tell you. We were screaming in that room, and then the upstairs neighbors who know that Denali was also oh, on the yeah. show, they're stomping on the ground so we can hear them like cheering from above. It was it was so amazing. Oh, that's we, so we, we were sweet. so excited to see her kill it. And it's to If You Seek Amy, a Britney Spears song, you know, <gasps> yeah. gay fantasies. Oh, it was so amazing. She this was a so good amazing. pairing. This she is killed it. And I agree, it was a good pairing. I like that Rose did the like kind of a comedic thing. Mm -hmm. Very and New York City. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. very it was very much like their own they both did a great job, but mm -hmm. Denali was just yeah. killer. The little duck walk, the oh. When she went to the back, she commanded attention and she you. said, Wap. Wap. Never. Never, never let them go to the back. If I saw some drag if I was lip syncing against someone, god damn it. I just lost the sprinkle. Oh. If I if I saw somebody march into the back, I was like, oh no 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 no, I'm go I'm coming oh. too. Because that's always killer. Like No, they, don't do that. Don't do what the girls are doing. When you get on drag race and you're and you're lip syncing. Why did you laugh? 
when you're on Drag Race and you're lip syncing with someone, don't okay. do what they do. Yeah. Do your own thing. No, I'm gonna do my own thing, but I'm also gonna stop them from doing their thing. No. Oh no, no, no. That's, That's thing. my own That's thing. That's thing. That's your Just thing. Just sit in front of them. I'm telling you, I'd be the perfect villain for that show. I would ruin you know, everyone's day. You know you wouldn't. You'd be a Bianca Del Rio villain where you'd go around saying I'm a villain, but behind that poster board you have written on. Love I'm I'm the no, can you I'm do the that? My skin isn't I love that you think that about me because I think I'd be a Fifi O'Hara and I'd have to change my name and play video games. <laughs> <laughs> she went back to her original name. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and play video games. That was a stellar lip sync. We're seeing Denali in her element, assassinating, yeah. you know. She really killed it. Doing it. And she got $5,000. And $5,000. That check, I hope it was sent through Western Union, uh -huh. right in the account, mm -hmm. the next day. A bag of rolled quarters, whatever you gotta do, RuPaul. Give me that money. Please, please. She was definitely deserving of the win. Mm -hmm. However, ladies, I'd like to introduce something to this whatever we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. She wasn't on the episode for very long, but you know Olivia Lux and her tiny purse? Yes, yes of course. I have acquired uh. a tiny purse. Oh Is my. that one of hers and you stole it from her? No, don't, don't, I can't, legally, no. Legally, <laughs> oh, okay. for, the sake, okay. for the sake of this, no. Sure. So Denali won, and right. she's our favorite anyway. Yes, She I and Kimora. Eat. But in addition, I think we should award the mini personal achievement award of the week to somebody that stands out. It could be either I'm the show or one of us or one of our, okay. uh, one of our oh, fans. Oh, it could be one of us? Me. I vote me. Okay. Or. Oh. I vote her too. Or we've already voted. Oh, I want, oh. We, I want well, okay, this. Okay, you gotta do me next week though. Okay, okay. okay I'm getting that. <laughs> or we discussed it beforehand and, and, <laughs> and, and we wrote the name of the person in the purse. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, ready? So. Who's getting it? How about. Since you didn't get it this week, Darby, I don't think. I don't know what's in here. But yeah. why don't you, I don't, I'll okay. open it, and you take out a read who our MV, oh my gosh. MVP is of, for the week. Okay. Our pick. <gasps> Darby! So, you shut no! Oh. You knew I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't hand me paper. <laughs> Tamisha! Tamisha! Our pick of the week. Tamisha, you've been awarded this purse. You can come and get it. It'll be at Darby's apartment. The boldness for you to assume she watches this show. <laughs> <laughs> The you're right, you're right, you're right. Come I'm get sorry. it, come get this little bag. Come get this <laughs> tiny little <laughs> shit. Sorry. Excuse her. Thank you so much again to everyone who has been keeping up with our busy, busy January. Now that UK is out there, we are gonna keep this content coming. Mm -hmm. Patreon, we have had even more people join that we're so excited. We have a couple things planned for the week that are, um... Sexy. Uh, yeah, yeah, questionable. So make sure you head over to patreon.com forward slash IMH of the show so that you do not miss out. If you want to follow us on our socials, you'll see that down below. The action continues online. Ooh, yes it does. And if you like what you see and you want to give us a little something, you can do that on Venmo at IMH of the show or on Cash App, Cash Tag. I am HO the show. And if you don't like what you see, give us like a 20 or a 50 and then we'll find a way to block you so you don't have to see us anymore. Yeah. The winters are always hard for a full-time drag queen, but now that everything's closed, it's even worse. So we really appreciate anything that you um, give me. Thank you. Uh, us. Oh, us. Mm -hmm. Before we go, we had a special guest a couple weeks ago. We we did five questions with Arigato, which mm -hmm. was so fun. Oh yeah! And because Twitter has apparently decided that we should continue doing this because they keep suggesting people, we have a special guest this week. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's right. We, we, well, we have had her mom on twice, okay. and she said, "Please, can I be on this?" Okay. And I said, Just, "I need your mom's approval." We have Kitty Banks <gasps> with us. Hi, hey, Kitty. yes, niece. Hi, Alexis, Auntie, and Dari. I am so excited to be here. Ugh. So, Kitty, we are so excited that you have joined us completely live, not at all pre-taped. This is definitely happening. And we just shared our opinions about what happened on Denali's winning episode. And we were celebrating. Mm -hmm. We drank blue drinks. Uh -huh. we, oh. we sat. Yeah. Yep. We wanted to know, as a Chicago girl, were you celebrating too? Absolutely. We definitely were celebrating in this house. Um, we live for a Chicago win. It seems as though the Chicago girls always love to bring these sickening dance abilities. So we love to see it. 
So we've had your mother, Miss Baby Banks Kool-Aid, on twice, and we want to know how was Kitty born? Okay, was she born through the canal or was it a surrogate? What's the tea there? Well, Kitty's been around for a while. I've been doing drugs since I was 14 or 15. I am 23 now, so it's been a very, very, very long time. Um, Bambi didn't come into the picture till maybe seven years in or so. Um, it was more of a taking me from one level and putting me on the next, you know, the business fish aspect of it. She adopted me in March of last year, it's almost been one year, and the rest is her history. We are the same person in different bodies, truthfully and honestly. Kitty, your birthday is May 1st. That's no. also my birth- huh? Her, her answers are pre-recorded, you've got to ask the right question. Oh. It's what, also what was my question? birthday. What is it like to have Bambi Banks Kool-Aid as a drag mother? Does she read you as hard as she reads everyone else on Twitter? I mean, you think she's gonna let up on me because I'm family? You're a fool. Let's be real here. You've seen her go after Chloe. You've seen her go after Kenzie. You've seen them all go after each other. It's just a family thing. It's really not being bitchy. It's just really family nature. Let's be real here. So, yes and no, I guess. Well, Kitty, our time is almost over, and we want to know more, but people can do that by finding you out into the world, out in the, out in the world, outside. outside. Let everyone know how can they find you, and what can they expect to find. You can find me on Twitter, on Instagram, um, KittyXBanks, then oh, it's Kitty Banks. Um, also, Saturday we have my show, The Halfway House Party, on twitch.tv slash it's Kitty Banks. That's somewhere else where you can find me. We're going to be showcasing a lot of Halfway House members, my other drag family. If you guys want to come find me there, that's where I'll be, Saturday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on Twitch. So thank you so much for having me. Uh, I can't wait to watch this on my TV over and over and over and over again. My roommates are going to hate me. Mwah. Bye. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Bye. Kitty. Bye, -bye. Kitty. She's pretty. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talented. Yeah. All right, well, we will see you next week for yet another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13, Drag Race Episode 4 of RuPaul's. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Phenomena. Sayonara. I think this um, Let me see. glow stick was leaking. <laughs> You look good. The brown jumped up like once, I think. Oh, it did? The, the brown? brown? I can, I can censor it. Okay.